Hi friends, so today we are going to discuss about this camera. So this is the SJ7 Star from SJ Cam. Uh, the, the one and only thing that I would like to say about this camera is this is the best camera that you can get in the market at the price of $200. Okay. So if you buy it from sites like gearbest.com you'll have a lot of offer too and I have been like using this camera for last one month or so on different rides and uh, different situations I have used this camera so uh, finally I'm really happy about this camera and uh, the quality is awesome the audio video both qualities are awesome so I got this product from gearbest.com and you can actually buy this product at gearbest.com or any other websites you uh, any of your favorite websites but I would actually suggest you to buy it from gearbest.com because I have got certain uh, um, uh, coupons which will reduce the price to a little lesser than what this is being sold in other websites there is the first point second point is that uh, why I actually purchase all my stuffs from gearbest.com because the thing is that uh, the support so far is great so I have been like buying so many stuffs from gearbest and I have been getting so many stuffs from them so for all I never had any issues with customs or issues with, with shipment problem or tracking or uh, pro problem with the products for that matter I prefer buying it only from gearbest rather buying it from different different websites and if you guys are buying uh, this products or for that matter any product from my links then I would be uh, also able to help you out with the tracking in case there is a problem or there is an issue mostly you will not have any issues but if at all there is something then I could be able to track it track it out for you with my point of contact at gearbest.com so that's one thing now uh, I have already done the unboxing of this uh, product so I'll just fast forward the unboxing system because uh, unboxing anyway is not um, much difference than any other SJ cam the SJ cams usually comes with all the standard mounts so this product is also no different it has got all the standard mounts so I'll show you but before that I would like to share one more thing uh, so right now uh, from today starting today Gearbest is running huge offers so here's the promotional video I'll show you so they are actually running lot of discounts so if you are planning to buy anything from Gearbest I think this is the right time to buy and uh, please remember always select the shipment uh, option as uh, Indian Ecom Express please note it down that is the best shipment option so that uh, the product arrives at your home by 10 days I mean 10 to 15 days max and also you don't have to pay any customs that's the thing and you can always use my uh, links to buy the products so I'll always share the links in the description section of the video you can directly click them and buy them and you'll also get discounts so I'll also share the coupons if at all something is there all right friends so here is a small uh, promo from Gearbest let's check this out Alright, you just saw the promo. Now we are going to unbox the product. Here is the unboxing video. Well guys, uh, this is the cover. And then uh, these are the set of mounts which is available. This is the camera. So we have got this uh, helmet mounts, car one straight mounts. And then we have got this extenders. One more extender. Uh, this is probably used for this tripod and all that. Then few extra tapes. And then this is a mount for your handlebar, handlebar mount. Then this is a screen for your touch screen. This is one more extender, that's all. And then few manuals and few stickers and then one cloth for cleaning. And then here you have a couple of other stuff. Uh, again one round which is a 360 mount which you can rotate. And one more straight mount but 360 and then a charging cable that's all about it so you just saw the unboxing video of this uh, product now i'm going to show you the real actual footage that i have taken uh, outside so i'll show you something first thing is that i like about this camera is the time lapse video this takes very 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 nice time lapse so here is a sample time lapse video <music> I hope you liked the time lapse video. Uh, now I'll, I'm going to show you uh, the audio and video quality. And this is the camera which supports actual 4K, not uh, that interpolated uh, 4K which is there with a lot of other cameras. This is a actual 4K 
camera and also if you use 1080 at 30fps you can also remove that fish eye effect I mean the distortion so there's a no distortion version also you can keep it as a narrow or something in that case so you don't have that distorted fish eye effect image so you can actually use this camera as a vlogging camera also like if you have a selfie stick or something you can simply hold this like this and then you can use it as a vlogging camera so you don't have that bulge effect that's one thing so now I'll go to the actual footage uh, which I have uh, taken while riding in the uh, busy streets and a uh, lot of traffic areas you can see what kind of audio this uh, camera can capture and what kind of video this video is shot with uh, 1080 at 60 frames per second hi friends so we are here to test uh, the SJ7 from SJ cam and uh, so I had been using this camera for last one month or so point is what we are going to look with this video is that uh, first thing I have switched on the gyro stabilization on so we have to look if the video is shaky or uh, I mean it's stable uh, second uh, what we have to look is uh, I am recording this video at 1080 at 60 frames per second so you have to look forward uh, for the quality of footage the, uh, the color and all that Today the sky is quite sky blue that side and this side it's a little bit cloudy and then the final thing which you have to look forward is for the audio clarity. So right now I am using the SJ cam uh, mic which is because as you guys know the SJ cams doesn't uh, support any other microphone other than the SJ cam itself. So for that matter this is my old mic which I used to use in uh, my SJ6 but there might be little bit problem with the audio uh, it's not because of the camera but because of the mic because what happened on my last ride I had uh, a very bad uh, I mean I had to face a very bad uh, rainfall for which uh, the mic was completely wet well I actually do not know technically if my mic will get problems with uh, water or not uh, there is no noise if you see see I'll rave my bike do let me know if you hear any noise so you can actually imagine what kind of sound uh, the background noise it can take and even if I'm uh, actually uh, traveling through like uh, uh, deep traffic and all that still I see that uh, there is not much uh, noise which is captured with, uh, with this camera so that is one good thing because uh, earlier I was using SJ6 with the same helmet setup and same uh, microphone setup but still I could observe that there were like a lot of noise especially when I don't speak uh, anything I mean like if I be silent for some time then it captures all the noise and all that stuff so here I can uh, I mean on my last video I just saw that uh, the audio was quite great the helmet visor and see what is the quality of audio okay now the helmet visor is open I'll be silent for some time The buses are honking. Okay, I think you could have got a fair idea about uh, the external noise that it takes. Well, I hope you guys have uh, by this time understood what quality of audio and video you can expect from this camera. Well, I have also compared this with uh, other cameras, uh, video quality, including the TI and all that sort of cameras. Okay guys, so you just watched uh, the video and I hope you have got a fair idea about what kind of quality this camera can deliver. Now, I'll talk about some good and bad points about this camera. Okay, let me start the bad points. So, two things that I didn't like about this camera. Okay, the first thing that I didn't like about this camera is, uh, this camera actually has got a very good... Uh, what you call uh, I mean it has got a robust body it is a full metal uh, body camera but that also tends to be a negative point for this camera that this camera gets hot sometime I mean it gets really hot because of the metal body structure so it's really a bad idea if you're planning to uh, um, charge the camera while recording a video it is really a bad idea because it gets very hot okay so that's one thing second thing that I don't like at all with this camera is the LED indicator so what happens you know I mount this camera at my chin like this on my helmet so the moment I switch this on 
I have to see in my mirror again and again. I have to see. I have to concentrate if this camera is working, it is recording or not, because it has got a blue indicator over here. Come on, man. It should be a red indicator because you know, at during daytime, figuring out a blue light on over over here is really difficult. But had it been a red light, then it would have been really best. Apart from this, there is no other complaint. This camera has got a very good battery backup. I can't say the exact time how much it, it takes, but I could easily record a video clip of an hour or more. Okay, and still there was like a lot of battery. So I think this could do easily about like one and a half hour uh, without gyro on. I think if you switch on the gyro, then obviously uh, the battery reduces a little faster. So that's the thing. I like everything else about this camera, and this is going to be my primary camera henceforth forward wherever you see any of the videos I play. Um, using any action cam I think this is going to be the action cam one more thing guys if you are planning to use an external microphone with this camera so this camera supports an external microphone but it only supports the SJ cam external microphone so do not buy any other uh, external microphone from the uh, market and uh, try to use it over here because it's it's not going to work out I have tried with the GoPro mic and all that it doesn't work out so here we have got that USB power port to use external microphones this this you can use the external microphone but make sure you're buying the SJCAM external microphone again I'll share the link to the external microphone on the description section of this video so that's all about it and yes if you are uh, asking me if this is better or the GoPro is better I feel the GoPro 5 Hero 5 will be little bit better than this uh, as far as the quality and all is concerned but again I don't uh, I don't uh, actually um, so I'm, I'm not really sure about it but yes this camera for that price point is, is an absolute good deal. It is under $200 and with offers I think you will find it for like $130 or $140. That's, that's, a, that's a really good price for this camera. So that's all about it friends. Hope you like this video and if you like this video please do not forget to hit that like button. And please do subscribe to my channel if you have not yet subscribed. And once again friends if you are planning to buy this camera I think this is the right time to buy from Gearbest because they are raining discounts okay uh, at gearbest so that's all guys have a great day bye bye take care